They say that when the Buddha gave his synopsis of the teachings, to the 1,250 arahants, the first year of his teaching career before he sent them out to teach, the first word he started with was kanti, which we translate as patience, tolerance, forbearance, endurance. So this is the foremost austerity, in other words, the means for burning off your defilements. You don't burn them off by torturing yourself. You don't burn yourself off, off to other outside things. It's a quality of the mind that can burn away your defilements. It needs to be supported. Supported with wisdom, for one thing. Because we tend to think that when we're forbearing, in other words, we hold back the things we might want to say. There might be people who see it as a sign of weak weakness, but you have to realize that's a strength. The people who see it as weakness don't understand the Dharma. Your concern is your strength, because this is what the, the five strengths are all about. It starts with conviction. We're convinced in the Buddha's awakening. It means we're convinced in the power of our actions. As the Buddha saw, it's not through other people's actions that we go to hell or go to heaven. It's through our own actions. So what other people do shouldn't have an effect on us. It's just washed right off, like water off a duck's back. That means, of course, that we have to develop good qualities in mind and abandon unskillful qualities, because unskillful qualities make us weak. It's just good qualities in the mind that make us strongest, and we see that we do have something inside that we can depend on. I like the quality of goodwill. An important part of endurance is seeing that what other people do to you it cannot harm your goodwill for yourself, your goodwill for others. The images of goodwill being like earth. And a solitary little man comes along with a hoe and a shovel. He tries to make the earth be without earth, and he digs here and digs there, and he spits here and spits there, and urinates here and urinates there. And makes a mess right where he is, but he can't make the earth be without earth. The earth is so much bigger, more solid. You want your goodwill to be bigger and more solid like that, so work on developing it. That requires developing mindfulness, developing concentration, and then using your discernment to realize the implications of conviction. That is, your actions are the things that make all the difference. Other people's actions can't harm you. The harm they do is just to your body, and the harm goes only as far as this lifetime. But the harm you do to yourself can go for a long, long time. So you want to be very careful about your own actions. And in this way, in this way you, your endurance can endure. It can hold up, because you have good qualities in mind to support you. And we need this strength inside, because we live by physical strength and mental strength. And the nature of physical strength is that it can grow, but it also ultimately has to deteriorate. But mental strength doesn't have to deteriorate at all. We can keep on building it and building it and building it, even up to the last breath, through the last breath, past the last breath. We can keep on developing good qualities in mind. And those strengths will see us through. So work on your endurance, as the Buddha said, make your mind like earth, both in the sense that it's being solid, and then remember his image of the, your goodwill being like earth as well, and the efforts of other people to disturb you, or that puny little man spitting here, spitting there, trying to make the earth be without earth. See it that way. That'll make it a lot easier to endure and a lot easier for your mind to stay strong.